Okay guys, Optobotomist back again with another Iron Man review. This time I am doing Mark III Iron Man. As you can see, again, nice packaging. Back, nice pictures. This Iron Monger is the one I am going to be getting. He has a detachable headpiece and chest piece which reveals a pilot. Ooh, dun dun dun. So I'm very excited to get that one. That's the uh, only one that I have left to come, actually. Um, but here he is, Mark III. We're going to open this guy up, and I'm hoping that he's considerably better. As it, Since this is a step up of the Mark II, I'm hoping that the toy is actually a step up of the Mark II, too. So we'll be right back after these quick seconds. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I am a little bit more pleased with the Mark III. Now, the Mark III comes to us by way of an upgrade in the Mark II and a special upgrade, as we saw in the movie. If you haven't seen it, again, spoiler warning, spoiler warning, spoiler warning. Beep, 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 beep. Danger, danger, danger. The, the Mark II had a problem, big problem, when it got to a certain height it was it had a freezing problem it would all freeze when it got to a certain high altitude so the mark 3 was a finalized version pretty much the pinnacle of technology which allows for high flight uh, situations it is a gold titanium alloy which allows him to apparently because gold resists uh, freezing I, I guess as you can see, he is our classic red and gold color. Really sharp looking. The detail on it is really nice. Although, it's hard to tell, but the, the paint apps on here, while they're definitely nice, they kind of give the illusion or give the impression that they're um, um, fingernail paint, nail polish. Uh, it's the exact same mold as um, this guy, except this guy's leg don't work, whereas his works, but it, it goes out. So if you want him to walk forward, you have to have him do this, sideways. This one will go forward, but I'm thinking that these guys are just being designed for posability and display purposes almost, not so much plain. But, um, oh, I mean, at least he can bring his legs together. Unlike the Mark II, which is all like, Hey, hey, how's it going? Um, the dark blood red color is not showing up very good on camera here, and I apologize because of it. But, oh, his head just came off. So there's the ball joint that his head comes on. That came off rather easy. The all the joints are really stiff. It's like they do the painting for it and then slap everything together when the paint's still not dry. So it comes across as very stiff. I don't know if that's just mine again, but whatever. The 360 degrees for the head, the wiggle aspect, the pop off aspect. I'm going to do this review without his head. Just make it kind of creepy by having it here in the background. Um, the arms, again, will rotate a full 360 degrees. As with the Mark II, you have the problem with the shoulder pads. These come off very easily, but they go back on, so make sure you don't lose those. Flexibility here in the torso region, double joints on the elbow. The ability to go... Come here, sucker. Come here. Come on, baby. So there's that. I'm going to put his head right there. Creepiness. He pooped out his head. <coughs> um, the legs, as I said, the articulation, they will go forward and back. They will rotate and spin. This one goes out. And you can't even... Unless... I mean... It looks like there's another joint inside up in his thigh that I don't know if that's causing some of the problems or what but double jointed on the knees so that you can get him really really kind of kneeling there and 
articulation in the fit. Really, I mean, overall the paint applications on here are pretty nice. I mean, good detail on here. As you can see, I'm going to try to get some of the... See, now you can kind of see the red coloring. But do you see how there's different texturing in the coloring? I don't know if that's what they meant to do. I'm looking, like, looking through here at the chest. I don't know if you can see that, even into the stomach. But it kind of looks like nail polish to me. <laughs> it's creeping me out without the head. Um, the gold is really nice, very shimmery, nice gold. A lot of details on the buttons. He's got met metal latches and such that lock the 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 actual armor under place. Even the back is really nicely detailed. So definitely a cool looking figure. I'm really happy with it. He comes with his repulsor blaster, which again just clips onto his arm and you fire it. See how far this guy shoots. The Mark II shot about three to three and a half feet in the air. This guy shoots about nowhere in the air. Try it again, and oh, and it's broken. So he automatically loses points for that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? And three, two, one, take off. Now that one only about went two feet in the air or so. So. He's a downgrade in his weapon, although they are identical weapons, as you can plainly see, just different colors. So the the blaster should fit in there. Here we go, and let's see if this goes further. Oh, and it does. So it's just this. It's a better spring in this guy. So there we go, boys and girls. And he fell down. I'm sorry. So there we go. And he's over here playing like a guitar. Oh, I got a great idea. Let me see. But no other reviewers do this with their. Okay. Oh, well, it won't work. Hold him! Oh, I want to get this so bad. It would be so cool. Yeah, well, well, you get the idea. All right, anyhow, so we're gonna put his head back on because it's creepy, but his head is really actually kind of nice too. Good detail on it, nice blue coloring eyes, menacing looking. So, putting his head back on. Um, so there you guys have it. Oh, also on here, he's got his repulsors again. On the, on the palms of his hands, which are very nice, nicely painted on there. So, really, really cool looking. I wish this little gadget here wasn't on there so that you could fully extend his hand back so that you could have a shooting motion from his hands. Because like this, he can't do too much. But if you could bend it back, he'd be able to actually pretend to shoot. So, definitely a cool figure. I do recommend him, as opposed right now to the uh, the, uh, the Mark II. I'm retarded. I was over there playing with it, sorry. Um, but as you can see, really nice, really nice, I almost said vehicle mode. Very nice figure. I do recommend this guy. This is Off the Bottomus. Stay tuned. I got one more to come up, and that one is a uh, stealth operations suit. So stay tuned. This is Optobotomus. Peace out.